When we turn on our taps, we can fill our glasses directly with good, clean water, ready to drink. In the Stockholm region, we have some of the world's best water. More than a million people enjoy good, clean drinking water every day. Water treatment takes place at the city's two water treatment works. The Norsborg water treatment works, lying beside Lake Mälaren, is one of the largest in the Nordic countries and supplies the central and southern districts of Stockholm. Luva water treatment works, supplying water to the northern and western districts of Stockholm, lies beside the lake a little further north. It takes about 12 hours from the time the water is taken from Lake Mälaren until it leaves the waterworks. During this time, it passes through several stages of treatment and controls and is changed from excellent fresh lake water into a first-class drinking water. The basis of the methods used at the water treatment works is built on experiences from generations of water treatment. Clean water is now so taken for granted that we no longer think about it. But things have not always been like this. In the middle 19th century, Stockholm expanded rapidly and the city was hit by a cholera epidemic caused by lack of clean water. It became necessary to create better living conditions in the city by means of water treatment works and a water supply network. The first water works was opened in 1861 at Scans Toll, with the water being taken from the Orsta Bay. But by the turn of the century, it had become clear that the Scans Toll water treatment works was failing to live up to the expectations. The water in the Orsta Bay had become contaminated. Moreover, salt water was able to enter the bay because Lake Saltshan was higher than Lake Mälaren. The new water treatment works was built in Norsbori, at the time a quiet country idyll, quite away from the city. Here was access to both groundwater from the Ekerö Ridge and surface water from Lake Bornshan. The works were opened with pomp and ceremony by King Oscar II in 1904. But the city continued to expand rapidly. By the late 1920s, the new lifestyle had brought about an increase in water consumption, owing to water closets, bathrooms and hot tap water. The Norshbori Water Treatment Works was no longer able to cope with demand. Consequently, it was decided to build another waterworks beside Lake Mälaren. Louvre Water Treatment Works was opened in 1933 by the new king, Gustav V. This plant was built to meet the new age and featured modern architecture and an automatic process. Over the years, both Norsbori and Louvre Water Treatment Works have been rebuilt and improved although much of the technology used today is not much different from when these water treatment works were first built. The treatment process begins with collecting the water from Lake Mälaren from a depth of between 5 to 23 metres. This provides a good quality, but like all lake water, it still contains organic elements that add smell and taste and make the water turbid. These elements have to be removed to make the water fully drinkable. Inside the intake chamber, the water is screened for the first time through a fine mesh net that traps all the water plants and other heavier objects. The screened water is then pumped on and up to the water treatment works itself. The water now passes through three treatment stages, a chemical, a mechanical and a biological stage. During the chemical treatment stage, a small quantity of aluminium sulphate is added. This functions as a precipitation agent and flocks are formed, which absorb the small particles present in the lake water. 
the water is passed slowly through a sedimentation basin. Most of the flocks sink to the bottom and are separated in sludge form. The sludge is dewatered and can then be put to various uses. The few remaining flocks are filtered off with mechanical treatment using rapid filtering. This is a metre-thick sand bed through which the water runs quickly. The water is now clear and clean. However, there are still some particles and elements remaining that cause taste and smell. These are removed with biological treatment. The biological treatment takes place in the slow filters, these being large outdoor basins. It takes eight hours for the water to pass through the metre-thick sand bed. This method was already being used in the original waterworks and is similar to nature's own way of cleaning groundwater. There are large quantities of useful bacteria in the sand beds. These eat up the organic elements remaining in the water. Quality is monitored throughout the process using the most up-to-date technology for treatment and control. Chemical and microbiological analyses are made several times a week. Sampling continues when the water is en route to the consumer. Each year we take more than 1,000 samples from various places along the water supply network and in people's homes. Before the water leaves the waterworks, the pH value is adjusted to prevent corrosion in the pipes. This is achieved by adding a small quantity of lime. The water is also treated with UV light and a small quantity of chloramine is added to prevent bacteria from growing in the water mains. The drinking water is now ready for distribution to all households and places of work. The water supply network reaches out to more than one million consumers in Stockholm and in the neighbouring municipalities. The mains closest to the waterworks are constructed of one metre diameter steel pipes. These connect up to a network of smaller pipes that total over 2,000 kilometres in length. The water towers around the city play an important part in the distribution. They function as reservoirs if a breakdown in the water supply occurs. Additionally, they even out pressure in the network when consumption peaks in the mornings and evenings. For water to reach the top floors of the high rises, some 40 local pump stations help to maintain pressure at the right level. Both treatment and distribution of the water are monitored from the waterworks control room. 24 hours a day, every day of the year, the movement of the water through the water supply network is monitored. Should anything happen, for example a leak, an emergency team is rapidly on site. We now have a reliable system to ensure the city's water supply and are well prepared to handle different kinds of emergencies and breakdowns. The water supply network is maintained according to a planned schedule. Leaking pipes could need to be replaced and new pipes might need to be laid to keep up with the city's expansion. Large operations are sometimes required. All these things are essential to maintaining our high quality drinking water. The city's lakes and waterways are also monitored and checked carefully. Lake Bornschern functions as a reserve water supply for all Stockholm, if anything should happen to Lake Merleren. Consequently, this lake is a protected area and fishing and bathing is prohibited. The eastern part of Lake Merleren, too, is a protected area. There are special regulations applying both to commercial operations and private persons in order to safeguard the quality of Stockholmers' water for the future. Stockholm has plenty of water. In fact, 
we have so much we can afford to share it with our neighbouring municipalities and with outlying districts. When you turn on the tap, you get world-class drinking water directly into your glass. Take good care of it and continue to enjoy Stockholm's good water. <laughs>